Today I have Ted Orm, VP Technology Amir at Tutunity, a data integration platform. So Ted, what are you looking forward to most at Big Data London? Really it's, uh, it's the first opportunity for us to really to put on uh, and come to a great event in, in the heart of, of where Big Data lives within, within Europe. Uh, really London is, has, has grown as being the, the centre of, uh, of where all the expertise, where all the, the knowledge is in the Big Data space and this great event for, for us to, to come and meet with not only our customers, our clients, but also the partners that we work with. Uh, we, at the end of the day, we're a data integration company. We, we are the plumbing, we are the linking between all the platforms that, are, that you have today, from your on-premise environments, your production environments, to cloud and Hadoop, and, uh, and, and this is where everyone comes together. So working with our customers, working with our clients, meeting with our partners, it's a great opportunity to share the successes we've had and, and, and understand also the, the failures that people have so we can really see the, the benefits of the platforms that we're building today. What's your perception of the big data community in London? We see London really as being a, a great uh, centre for, for where big data is, is running and, and winning within EMEA. Uh, and, and really we've, we've learned for out of the US. Hadoop now, we've had the 10 year anniversary of Hadoop and they've, they've already had their battle scars out of the US. They've, uh, they've been through those, the problems, the pains. And I think this second wave, this second wave of Hadoop and big data uh, overall is really is benefiting out of uh, the, the expertise and the knowledge that, uh, that we have within the, uh, the UK market. Um, and I think uh, one of those clear messages we, we heard before the first wave uh, made, uh, made storage almost free. The, the cost per terabyte came shooting down and for big enterprises those petabytes of data were, were acceptable to store. This next wave is really interesting because actually now memory is coming free. And, and actually you can have huge great clusters with huge amounts of, uh, of memory available that actually now that application stack on top, we're only beginning to learn what the possible is. So we've learned the, the evolution as it moves through and, uh, and London really is driving that uh, initiative. So what are the key trends in big data at the moment? We see three big trends emerge uh, over the last year or so. Uh, and and they're in, in three areas, the first one is what I would call operationalizing Hadoop. It's not the clearest of word, but really what I mean there is we've been working with a very large bank for many years. When we first started working with them, their Hadoop cluster was, was in a little side uh, environment. It was in a sort of QA, dev and test environments. And it had a specific team that were, were looking after it who were in a, in a big data team. But over the last year, that team has now merged into their operations. And really is Hadoop has, has won the battle. It's no longer just something in dev and test. And as such, it's becoming much more part of the enterprise infrastructure. But we were clearly told in that environment that the closer Hadoop comes to my operational systems, the closer it comes to the, the systems that run the bank, that data integration layer becomes more business critical. And that's where Tunity sit today, sitting within, those, within that environment between the Oracle, SQL, DB2 and Hadoop or cloud as it comes into the enterprise. And that's where we're seeing a lot of growth out of just uh, working in a dev and test environment. The second most theme that we're seeing over and over is now, is now real time. Batch always, uh, or rather Hadoop always got labelled with, uh, with being a batch engine. Uh, and as such, it's, uh, it, it had limitations to the value to the business. As I said, now we, we're seeing this, this growth, this really, this, the, the number one trend really is, is through Kafka and streaming and, and the analytics that you can really bring to the data that you hold. The schema on read, schema on write uh, methodology of, of the, big, the big data, the data lakes, combine that with huge amounts of memory that is available for the business, we still haven't really uh, explored fully the, the application stack of what, what is going to be possible there. So streaming, real-time Kafka, that's the next, uh, the next wave that we're seeing. And the third one is really, you know, look around, we see it, see it everywhere. The combination of Hadoop and cloud. These are the two biggest disruptive technologies that uh, we've seen over the last 10 years. Combine those two and, uh, and, and, and that's really where, where the growth is coming out. So all the major players are, are positioning and have their, their offerings in amongst these, uh, these pieces of technology. But from our point of view, from Attunity, we see the same challenges. That, that data integration layer of moving data out of those operational systems and getting it to where it needs to be, whether or not that's in Hadoop, Kafka, streaming, cloud, whatever platform you have, we're supporting over 45 different sources and targets, bringing the data to where it needs to be. The term big data has been around for quite a long time now. Do you think it's falling out of fashion? Marketing needs phrases in order to, uh, to reach an audience. Uh, and there was, uh, big data was the first sort of wave of, of people understood what you meant. 
they, they understood the traditional op traditional systems no longer were fit for purpose for 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 the volume variety the speed or all, all, all these these taglines. It's uh, the Internet of Things came along and that tried to claim some of the same space because it was analytics on, on, any, on everything. But really the two are, two are slightly different and, uh, and the different targets of, of buyers within that. Big data is, is clearly defined straight at, uh, at the newer style of platforms that can build analytics and get value to the business. So again, the first, that, that first tranche was, was reducing the per terabyte, per petabyte cost. The next wave is the analytics that can actually make benefit of that and make benefit to the platform today. If you're saying you're going to a big data event, people then just understand what that means, understands the, 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 the players, the partners, the technologies that are involved. Where it goes from here, where, where the next phrase is, uh, you know, we, we will see. But I think uh, big data is, is, is here, it's, it's, it's not going away, and uh, it, it's the right phrasing to, to start a conversation. Why is Kafka so important for the enterprise? Kafka really is, uh, is becoming a standard now. Uh, I think if you go back 10 years or so, you had message bus and queues and process, and, and there is technology in that space that is still um, uh, is still doing a, doing a job and working well. But Kafka now has the scalability. It really can meet the, the large-scale enterprise for, for, uh, for the next wave of, of, of analytics and real-time. Uh, we've been working with a large car manufacturer out of the US, uh, and we're helping them move over 4,500 applications. 4,500 applications globally up real-time streaming into Kafka. And Kafka has the, the, that broadness of, of ingest, that broadness of re resilience to actually then uh, to build the applications on top of that. They want to send some of it to Hadoop, they want to send some of it to the cloud, they want to send some of it to traditional message application sort of a response to, to, to trigger uh, processes. It's, it, it's driving action, whereas uh, Hadoop is often uh, this batch process for for bean counting, I, mean, I don't like saying quite so uh, subtly, but, but you want to know a question, you have a question, you, you have all this data, then, then Hadoop is the right place to go to to ask the question, and all of a sudden the answer is five, there it is. But Kafka and streaming in real time is business, is business, is action, why am I doing something, and then driving a, an initiative. So the, the, the classical uh, use cases for sort of supermarket shopping or, or everyone now gets texts from their bank saying, was that you that just purchased something down the road? This is real time uh, driving the business. Uh, and that's where the, the combination of the two, both deep analytics and, and streaming uh, data that, that drives the, the changes within an organization. Uh, I, I think that's still where, where we're where we're learning the new use cases, we're learning new technology, and Kafka really has, has now become that standard for, 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 for managing that flow of data. With your many years of experience, what is your favorite big data moment? My favorite moments really, it's just being part of this journey, part of this evolution. Uh, I can remember some of the very first big data events, the, the, the summits, the stratas, summit in Amsterdam, I think six years ago, there were there were a couple of dozen people uh, sitting around talking about uh, this great thing called Hadoop and what it can be. Uh, and, it, and it was a gamble. There was uh, an unknown that uh, we're going up against the, the big players uh, with some new technology, uh, very US-led, but, uh, but the Amir and the UK were, were one of those first people, first organ areas to, uh, to, to, to drive this forward. Uh, now you look around and it's everywhere, isn't it? I mean, Sunday Times has a big data article about something or other and a pull out. You know, my, uh, my parents are asking me questions about it. You know, where is it fit and where, 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 what do I think of this as a, as a technology? Um, it's, now it's mainstream, now it's there, but actually seeing the evolution, seeing the growth, where it started and, and now where it's going. Um, it's, uh, it's an interesting time. Explain to me the importance of big data in delivering true business intelligence. So business intelligence and BI and analytics has been around for, for many years. And now big data is, is, is changing the technology landscape around that. Uh, but uh, where it goes, where it moves from here, we, we really don't know. I think the, the most interesting thing is the application stack that is now being uh, uh, rewritten on top of the platforms that we're building today. 
Um, and we're seeing still more investment, more new companies, more startups uh, driving the initiative of what is, what is possible over and above the technology stacks that we're building today. Hadoop, like I say, has won the battle. That is there, that is the infrastructure building block. With the streaming technologies that are now coming on top of that and the applications that can leverage this, I think this is, uh, this is the next uh, real wave of, of big data and analytics. Uh, and we're really looking forward to uh, seeing what comes next. Thank you so much for your time. It's going to be a great event. I'm looking forward to uh, Big Data London. Do come by and see us uh, at the stand. I've got a speaker slot as well. If you want to learn all about Attunity and what we're bringing to this big data space, come down and see us. Uh, we're looking forward to the event.